Um. Is there somewhere we can talk? Oh my god. Kelly? Did your head pop? No, no, no. I'm just uh, trying to write stuff down. No, it's all good. All good. Any weapons? I'm just stressing you for weapons. No weapons. Thank no. you very much. No. Right this way, mate. Sorry, I was very stressed out right now. Sorry, you walk very fast. Hey, Connor. Time is it? 20.38. Alright, listen, ma'am, if it seems like I'm not paying attention and I'm not answering you or anything, it's because I'm busy writing stuff down, okay? No, it's all good, I understand. Hey, we just had a, uh, a car pull up and pull a gun on. No. Not gonna worry about no, any no. of that. Alright, um, you wanna tell me uh, a little bit about what's going on, who's missing? My girlfriend, she recently was kidnapped by her biological father, and she hasn't been home in a couple of days, and I have a feeling he got her again. Um, when he kidnapped her, he gave her heroin, and she would eat again, I guess. But... He's threatened us. He's threatened me. I'm just worried that he has her. You're saying that he's threatened you that he has her again? He's threatened at least to kill me. He's threatened to kill her. He's threatened to do a lot of shit. I'm just worried that he has her. And what is your girlfriend's name? What what is your girlfriend's name? S C L L Avery. Ella for short. Give me one second. I just want her to come home. I really don't like to I want her to come home safe. That's it. Esmeline? Avery Avery? Or oh, Estelia? <clears throat> Estelia, yeah. No photo. And what is her father's name? What What's her uh, father's name? Ryan Avery. I just know he has brown hair. That's all I can give you. The last thing I seen her wear. Am I going too fast? Nothing. Alright, she was last seen wearing what? A red dress with the flowers on it. I believe she was wearing boots with roses on it, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> How long has she been missing? About two days. Today would probably be three. Um, my calculations are correct. What's up, man? Hey, Shamu. Yo. When's the last so time you saw a, or heard uh, from Mr. Avery? Uh, Cadet, hey, you're allowed to do comms only. 
uh, are you NFTL? Uh, can, can you guys oh, nah, usually they uh, do comms, conversate right? somewhere else? Good. He can. I think he can do comms. Just don't mark him up. Right. Yeah. No. I can't do that. Okay. Cool. All right. Thank you, Shaman. When people didn't. When's the last time that you saw Ryan Avery? I haven't physically seen him. He has our radio station that we use, and he's been threatening us there and on Twitter. I've been threatening you on your radio and Twitter. How did he get your radio channel? I don't know. I I've used the same one since me and Ella met, and it's only been me and her. I beg you to and our fam system. or at least my family knew. The radio station. And it's just very mm -hmm. random times he'll just come on there. He said his exact words were You're on my next you're on the top of my list and he was talking to me. I'm just I don't know what to do anymore. He's been one step ahead of everyone. Do you know why he's so upset? I don't know. I... He wasn't there in her life, and my parents are the ones who raised her. And now all of a sudden he's come back and is kidnapping her and giving her heroin and it's like, I'm going to kill you. It doesn't make a lot of sense, yeah. but we'll, we'll go with that. <clears throat> Who knows why people do what they do, right? Yeah. Did he say specifically how he was going to do it? Like if he had a weapon? Did he indicate that he had a weapon? No. Does he know to have any sort of weapon? He's... I don't use these words lightly, but he's crazy, a psychopath, whatever you want to call it. Seems like it was for the best that you was raised by your parents. He, my parents passed away when I was really young. And he said that he's the one who did it. I don't know. I, oh. <clears throat> I don't think he did it, but... I do at the same time, if that makes any sense. Miss Cat, is there anything else? you know what kind of car he might drive or anything like that? Where he might live? Stolen cars, at least. Could be any car, or whatever he picked that day. That's all I really know, Kelly. I'm sorry. I wish there was more I knew. Um... I'm gonna be honest, and this isn't your fault. I, I wish you knew more as well, because there's not really a lot for me to go on here. I have a very vague description of your girlfriend and what she was wearing. Where was she last seen? At least she fell asleep at the house with me. And I guess she woke up before me, and I don't know where she went. None of her cars are at my house. I don't know where she's at or anything. Is it possible that Miss Avery uh, has ghosted you? Do you have any troubles in your relationships or anything? No. Okay. I, I just have to ask, okay? Um, I don't have a lot of information. I have a uh, possible suspect, Ryan Avery, and all I know is that he has brown hair and drives stolen vehicles and is probably mentally unstable. You have described 90% of the citizens in the state of San Andreas, ma'am. Uh, what I will ask, and you might not like this, uh, if you give me your radio station and you find that he comes on there talking to you, uh, send me a text message and I can swap over to it. Or at that point in time, if he does, send me a text message with your radio channel. If you'd rather, you know, not risk me having it unnecessarily. I don't go on people's radio channels to, to spy on them unless you're a member of a large gang. And then I will join your radio channel should I be able to find it. You're not that high up on my list of priorities, though.
I rather not say it out loud. Sorry, what? All right, ma'am, if, if he does get on there and attempts to contact you, I want you to send me a text message. Um, put a password in there. What's a good code word? Put in or PUD because I don't know how to spell PUD in. PUD? <laughs> yeah. It's a code word that if any me and my friends... Or having a panic attack or something that we just that's what we will say over radio or just a text them or call them I also want to um I also want to make it very clear if he does contact you and says if you want to see her alive meet me here do not do that contact the police we can work out something so that it's done in a safe manner do you understand that you going in and meeting him by yourself would be very dangerous and would probably end very poorly. I understand I you love your girlfriend, you, really. ma'am, and you want to get her back, but, but going there by yourself is not going to end well. I want to marry this girl, Kelly. I'll do whatever I have to, being honest. And if I have to get her out there safely, I will, I guess. Let me, let me outline something for you. you. You have literally just said that he is a crazy person. He is unstable. He wants you dead. He has stated several times and threatened your lives, both of you, multiple times. Yeah. So you going to meet with him somewhere, an unstable person, there's, there's a chance. Number one, he's not lying. He's going to be lying to you. He's just going to be trying to lure you so that he can get you dead. Do you understand that? Kelly, I've tried to meet with him a couple times. He won't. He's been playing a lot of games lately. Oh, well, he's not a very good potential killer, then, if he's not willing to meet with you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Do not meet them alone. Call us. We can be very discreet. At least if we're near the area where shit goes down, we'll be able to help. Okay. Okay. Is there anything that I've forgotten to ask about? Anything that, that you recall that, that you think is, is important? It could be, uh, maybe not even important, just the smallest thing, the smallest detail could be very helpful. Uh, wait a minute, I think she's wearing Converse. It was her dress, I know that. It made her dress pop. Okay. Listen, ma'am, I know you think that I don't like you. We might not be best friends. I, I don't dislike anybody, really, if if I'm being honest. And I don't want to see you get hurt. All right? So please, please do not go meeting this person alone. Alrighty. Kelly, I do want to apologize for our run-ins that we've had. I mean, I we find ourselves on opposite sides of a line, okay? It's, it's going to happen. I don't take anything personally, and I hope I've you feel the same. I've actually thought about trying to get my record expunged and maybe applying for PD. Well, I would look forward to uh, working with you. I often find that people with um, previous criminal history often have a lot of insight into the criminal mind might be why I'm so good at my job we'll just leave that well, there well I grew up in an MC so I have a lot of insight alright well I, I wish you the best I'll do my best to you know be on the lookout for her uh, is there any particular places that she hangs out or where he might hang out we grew up in Sandy so it could be anywhere in Sandy being honest I told Billy that. No, I need you here. Cal needs There's you. There's a spot. Come back. Cal, come back and everything's fine. But you skip the control. I don't know the control. Then I am of more use to you than I am. It's in forever. Sandy. It's by the water. Please. We would go there as kids. 
I don't know if that would be the spot. On the north side of the Alamo Sea, the south side, near the... Uh, no, I don't remember. I, I would have to see it. I think... It's like when you're going up towards Sandy from the city. Okay, okay. It's, you know where Flywheels is? It's like past that, that water area. Flywheels? What's the Flywheels? It's the... The airstrip in no. Sandy. You go, you go straight past that. Okay. Sorry, I believe that's the mechanic shop. That's not open. That's what it's called. You know, on Panorama Drive, like going past the Yellow Jack, past the airfield you know into Sandy. This is about to my face, to yeah, go yeah. I think so. All right. Well, I'll get the helicopter out. I'll do a flyover with some thermal. See if I see anything suspicious. Okay. Okay. Mm. Thank you, Kelly. I do appreciate this. I understand this is a difficult time for you. We're going to do our best. Yeah. Oh my god, that was awful. It was awful. The, the background noise was the worst. Damn it, Kelly. You walk fast. Oh, it's because I'm so aggressive. The, I mean, I'm so like motivated. It. So motivated to get shit done. Sorry, then I'll run out for you. Thank you, Kelly. Right. You have an above average day, ma'am. A better day.